Now let us see the video. Are you seeing the video? You see how many they are. You see how thousands they fall and they are in the bushes. This is their commander. Their commander is speaking now, giving them the strategy to run over your land, to take over your land. Now you are seeing them. See them very well. Now they are pledging to Allah. And that their pledge is guns and bullets. There's no two ways about it. The conquest of Fulani, they say that it must continue. Fulani can never stop on this conquest of taking over your land. Jihadism, Wahhabism is something that they have already seen the Quran inside Atlantic Ocean. And there is no how you can stop it. You see, when I'm telling my people all this thing, now we just finished watching this video. I want you people to understand this. That these people are ready. They have already brought all their brothers and sisters from different countries, from West Africa, from Chad, Nigel. They have already trooping into that contraption. They are somewhere in forest in northern part of Nigeria, taking lecture how they will divide themselves, how they will distribute themselves, how they will, you know, export themselves to different areas and different communities. That is exactly what is going on now. But there is something wrong with our people that I couldn't even understand what is wrong with our people. That is why I keep on asking myself or trying to question. I'm asking this question. The God that created Europeans and Americans, is he the same God that created African people? I'm still doubting it. I'm still doubting it because... There's a lot of things that I will see sometimes. It make me feel bad. Do you people know that I dropped a video yesterday about the foot soldiers of Fulani coming from Chad, Nigel, Mali? You can see different colors. And with their nose, you know that these people are coming for conquest. Call holy war. And they have seen the Quran inside Atlantic Ocean. There is no how you can stop Fulani on this conquest of taking over your land occupying your land by fire by force you can't stop them because it's something that they have been you know you know it's a something that is already been planned for years through their great grandfather usman damfodio like i always tell my people remember i always tell you people that fulani owns nigeria and there's nothing you can do about it only disintegration since nigeria to exist can be able to stop killings in that contraption if you want killings to stop but let me go back to what I want to say. Why I said, I think the God that created African people are different. Because mostly Africans, it seems that we, most of our people don't have inability to reason. They can't even think and understand the mess that they are into. I dropped a video yesterday. Do you know that somebody went to that video and began to, you know, right or he or she i don't know is using a, a woman picture she wrote stop putting fears in our people allow god to you know to intervene you know i begin to ask myself you see the reason why i begin to question the god that created african people do you now begin to understand the reason why i keep on questioning does our people have sense at all now, do you know the reason why I keep on asking myself, why did I find myself in that continent called Africa? Because most of people there, they don't reason. I am bringing you authentic information so that you can be able to buckle your belt and embark on this journey that we are to disintegrate and cease Nigeria to exist. Some people are writing on the comment section telling you to stop putting fear. You see... I don't know when our people will understand this. Now, pay attention very well. Let me introduce myself before, because I never do that, but that, because I have to. Great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Namdi Okukan, where we always set the record straight.
My name's all Mazo Kenna Okechuku, known as the Bia franchise on Wachineke. The general. Now listen to the news in detail. Because I'm not coming here to waste my time or waste your time. This is a quick one. I want you people to understand that this is the full anis. All over West Africa, they have already assembled themselves. You know, planning their strategy, planning how to distribute themselves, how to share themselves, how to get to their various uh, places, indigenous places, to begin to cause chaos. To begin to cause chaos, adoption, and destroying our land. I want you people to understand that Fulani can never stop on this conquest called Holy War. That is why I always speak on top of my voice that Fulani is your problem. These people have no land. They have already found a safer landing in that contraption called Damine Buzu. And do you know that the oil from Biafra land is their main resources? To carry this jihadism, jihadism, jihadism to enslave you forever, to make you slave forever. That is the mission and vision of Fulani because they have been planning this for years. But I am telling my people today, some will come to tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about, but of course, I will keep on saying what I'm saying. Of course, those people that have inability to reason we always understand that everything that I preach is a gospel. Everything that comes out from my mouth is a gospel. And you must, you know, understand and reason before you write. The authentic information comes to us. We deliver it to our people the way it is. Without any political correctness, without any what political correctness, we kneel it and say things the way it is. Fulani have already run over you, waiting for the attack. They have already started attacking, but they started from Kaduna. That is why you see, with the help of Garo Bashem, Lai Mohammed, and their commander called El Rufai. With their help, they have already taken over Kaduna. Now they will begin to push them down to south. Like I explained to my people yesterday, that is their strategy. That is the strategy they want to use to make sure they get everybody. No, I just want you to, you see, go back to that video, okay? Go back to that video and see how crowd these people are. There are thousands sitting Taking lecture, taking how to, you know, to strategies, their strategies, the way they were going to, you know, grab you people like a chicken because he had a vulnerable like chicken. Some of you that have ear, I want you to hear. Some of you don't have ear, you stay there till you to come to your doorstep. Go and get your Somali visa. Go and get your Somali visa and begin to travel to Somali because it's coming. They are there, you can see it by yourself. With your all your kuru kuru eyes. I am not coming here to deceive you, but I'm coming here to tell you authentic information. Let it get to people. Allow those people that are writing nonsense that are telling me that I should stop putting fears in our people. How can I put fear in you? Or I am telling you what is about to come to you where there is no security, where there is no government, where there is no protection. Who is going to protect you? The Bugari, the dead Bugari that was a patron to Boko Haram before he died. Or the Erufai that is a commander is going to help you. Or Garo Bashemu that is lying every day telling you that is the pattern of dead Bugari. Or Lailai Mohammed that is calling every uh, uh, media house to come and uh, silence us. We come and tell you when the war will start. Begin to use your sense. Begin to use your sense. This is what I have for you. Just see the video. Good day and welcome.